The original version of this song came out when I was in late high school. Incredible song. It was played on the radio a ton. I can already hear Ronnie singing various parts of this. I haven't listened to his reimagined version yet, but I can't wait to see what he does with it. And of course, I'm going to be unpacking and analyzing various things that Ronnie does with his voice because I love to do that. Chills. This is my last resort. <sighs> Cut my life into pieces. Embrace my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm. I had not expected the the piano slowed down. I expected the higher key. It puts the lyrics in a completely different context. There's a desperation that I didn't really internalize with the original that I hear here. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. He's going up into his, his head voice. Like, it's the complete opposite of, of the original, right? He's, he's easing into his, his calmer, softer, quieter, contemplative voice there, as opposed to... My life into pieces. Into... This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. I love how he... Suffocation! Ah! Sighing, desperation. Don't give a fuck. It's a nice melodic change. <sighs> Cannot get over the piano. Cut my life into pieces. Embrace my last resort, suffocation, no breathing. Don't give a fuck if I cut my arm beating. Do you even care if I die bleeding? Would it be wrong or it be right if I took my life tonight? Chances are that I might. Took my life tonight. How, how he he eases in, he adds heat to his voice without necessarily adding distortion. Yet I'm sure that's coming. He is one of the most dynamic, nuanced singers that I know. I love hearing how he subtly grows his dynamics. Listen to that section again. Do you even care if I die bleeding? Chances are that I might mutilation out of sight, and I'm contemplating suicide. How he opens that vowel and then closes it on contemplating. The changing in resonance and placement with his voice is perfectly complementing how it feels like he's internalizing the lyrics. I think that's why with certain things. We get shivers and we really connect with with particular pieces of music. Things are unexpected like the piano, yes. But when we really hear a connection between what the singer is singing lyrically and what they're doing with their voice to draw us in. That was beautiful. I'm 
gotta listen to that transition again and something just dawned on me here that the timing of this release in light of Ren's suicide release a few weeks ago it's about time we had some musical art to latch onto and help us express the realities and struggles that we all go through by our vulnerability and genuine expression we feel less lonely. And then the deepest feelings we have expressed, quiet, as the community and as the relatability from our community loudens. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine, losing my sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. bit of grit there. He really became this other character there for a moment. Na, 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 downward spiral. That's what makes Ronnie so interesting. He can go in and out of, of different characters a lot. How he turns up the heat on his voice subtly. You hear the grit. You hear him get a bit more nasal and and almost crowish. He's balancing his tone. He's such a meticulous artist when it comes to how he positions his vocal tone and dynamics at the same time. Losing my mind, losing my mind. Listen for those kind of transitions as he pegs certain notes and how he turns up his grit. Tell me I'm fine. Fine. Losing my side, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. You could argue that that's the, the well, he's saying fine. He's saying the vowel, but you could say fine. Fine. But he's saying it fine. And it, it creates this brightness and opening in his voice that you wouldn't get if he wasn't so attentive to how he's placing those notes with those vowels. And the size out of the notes, the releases, fine. He's not only changing the way that that vowel resonated in that one word, going from the ah to the forward, but then he's releasing out of it. These little nuances are everything. If you haven't experimented as a vocalist, if you are a vocalist, with changing around how you sound in the context of one word, you have not really learned how to sing.
I am being wrung out by these peaks and valleys here. It's, it's not technique. It's, it's not premeditated. It is full abandonment into, the, into what he is feeling. And I get asked this question a lot from, from vocal students. You know, how do I capture the emotion in what I'm seeing? How do I sing with more emotion? Let yourself feel the emotion. Let yourself connect to what you're singing. Let your voice break because you are so uncontainable because what you are feeling cannot remain inside. Let it happen. You can't make this kind of singing, this kind of expression happen. You have to let it happen because what is trapped inside of you and what wants to come out. This is why this is so awesome. It's not because he has masterful screaming technique or because he has a, he does have a great voice. But mostly he has a great voice because he knows how to live through expression. Did you see that the recommended song by YouTube was Bad Omen's Death and Peace of Mind? You remember when I said at the beginning that I can already hear Ronnie singing this? I was completely, completely wrong in what I had originally thought it was going to sound like. Completely turned upside down. But don't just end with accolades in a piece like this. This is inspiring on so many levels. The vocal connection to the lyrics in such an incredibly different way. The additions he made. The, the video was absolutely incredible. This is reimagined, but maybe more importantly, this message has been reconnected and re-delivered and re-related to for now. Not 20 years ago. But for now, giving us a new chance to talk with people, to share with people, to relate, to love. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Ronnie, for putting this out. We'll see you for more.